Okay, I thought I'd uh, show a little uh, project that I'm starting, show it from start to finish, so kind of see the way I do it. Um, what I've done so far is I went into CAD, I got some CAD from an architect, I went in, I cleaned it up by deleting anything I didn't need, especially hatches and blocks. I, I looks like I left a few blocks still, but in general, you should get rid of blocks because they can really bog down your 3D Studio file. Um, and then I exploded everything, put it all on the same layer in CAD, and then made it into a block so that when it imports, it should be all solid objects like that. Okay. Um, so this is the floor plan. So you just move that into place. Um, the front elevation is this guy here. And if you move him into place by kind of, um, let's see, let's line him up using this point here. So line it up so you know it's in the right spot. And then what you do, uh, it's a little weird line sitting out there, but oh well. Um, then what you do is turn on snap. Um, I believe it's this one that I use. Snap. Okay, well, rotate it 90 degrees, um, and then in the front view, I guess we can just line it up there. Man, I should have flattened this in CAD too, I can see that now. This is all kind of weird, but when we look at it in orthographic views, it's not going to matter. So I put the front view back here, the front elevation, change it to um, put it on my CAD front layer and then freeze it. And now what we can do is from the front view, actually I want to move this, I want to move all this other stuff down too so that it's not kind of in my way. I'm just going to worry about the front elevation right now just to kind of show. The floor plan it's also best to put the floor plan down below. Doesn't matter how far below because you can be drawing in orthographic views anyway. And that goes on its own layer. CAD floor. Freeze it. Okay, now you'll see that we can kind of. And these ones we're just going to move out of the way for a minute. Um, so now the way I start drawing is just by uh, blocking out these these basic shapes on this house here. This looks like a good place to start right here. Um, for this, make sure that start new shape is turned off, so that when you draw, when you go to different shape tools. Uh, it continues to keep it all connected. And use an arc. Make sure these are all welded by going into vertice mode right here, vertex. Um, and the, sh the shortcut for me is Shift 2, it welds them all together. But otherwise, you could go down to weld and set a threshold. So my threshold is low, so that all it does is make sure that line's all connected to each other. Um, now, as you can see, you can move that into place in the top view by... Oh, man, my CAD's way off, isn't it? Okay, well, we'll look at that in a second. I'm just going to go about right there, right? Because you can see those columns on the floor plan. This CAD isn't very good, I can already tell, but... Um, okay, so then... <clears throat> start with another line. Just start doing this on everything. Close spline, yes. 
move that out a little bit further. Well, actually, it's going to be this one right here. Um, and I need to move everything over now. And this will be starting to create our roof already, so put a simple extrude on that. It's okay if it overlaps back there. Okay, I need to move this and my CAD into place. So I'll unfreeze that. And I'll move it in the top view so that I can make sure it's lining up with my floor plan. So it should be right there. And I'll freeze that front elevation again. Um, let's see, let's do, let's do another basic shape here and do a few modifiers. Um, that's going to be a square piece, so we need to extrude a rectangle for that. But this one is going to be a lathe, because this is a round column. So if we make an arc, keep it in the same shape, make a line down to there, and then make another arc. Um, again, make sure that's all welded. Um, and then, uh, then we do a basic modifier, which is going to be lathe. So you can go to lathe, where I have a shortcut right here as well. Um, and then you go into the, the axis for the lathe, and you slide it over so that now it's rotating around that axis. Pretty basic modifier that you use a lot. So you can see as I move that axis, it's the center of it is <coughs> changing. But we want it right there. Um, you can increase the segments a little bit in the lathe so that it doesn't look as faceted. Maybe put a smooth modifier on it too to make it make it read smoother. Um, but it looks like it's okay. Oops. Still in axis mode. Okay, move it only in the y axis. This is another important thing. Make sure your axis constraints are working. Um, I guess if you have the gizmo on like this, you can just. I don't like working with the gizmo on. X turns it on and off. But I have it set up in here so that uh, if you right click on snap and go into options here, use axis constraints. Um, and make sure Snap to Frozen Objects is on so that when you have these frozen CAD layers, you can snap to those. Um, so we're going to instance this guy, just like that, so that when we change one, it changes the other two. It's an important thing to remember. Instance as much as possible. Um, and that's a basic way to get one of these projects started for architectural visualization. So I'll do some more um, in the next.